welcome back to the Two Minute Warning Cigar Review, Coles Notes version of what we did today. Today on the Cigar Dungeon Podcast, we smoked the E.P. Carrillo Salacion Escuro, paired with the Glendalo Irish Whiskey that people hit really fucking hard today. That being said, you know how we do 40 seconds up on the clock, I'll tell you about how... Well, each of one of us thought about the cigar pairing today, and then that will be it for today's podcast. Starting down at the end at Marty. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. What did you think today about the EP Corella Celestiana Skrull paired with the Glendale Irish Whiskey? Uh, the EP Carillo, uh beautiful cigar. Uh, the initial light was a little bit um, different. Honestly, half inch in though, it really opened up into those cocoa flavors, the chocolates. It came on really strong. Uh, it kind of dimmed down a little bit, but then you got a lot of those subtle, dark, I almost feel like dried plum uh, fruit flavors. Uh, not overbearing at all, very smooth. Uh, when we're looking at the Irish whiskey, it came on very flavorful in the beginning. I think my cube melted and diluted a little bit of the flavors. Now that we're going on uh, without the cube, they're kicking back up a little bit of those sweet floral notes. It's not too pungent, not too strong, not overbearing. Good pairing. Good job. James, what did you think about the pairing? I thought the EP Curlo Oscuro was a fantastic cigar. I think it was constructed beautifully. It burned lovely. The wrapper is just delightful. The flavors on it were absolutely plummy and, and fruity. It reminded me quite a bit of a pipe tobacco if you're going to get one of those more floral ones or more fruity ones. It was a really good cigar. I, I thought that's a must try. The Glendalo, I felt was a little bit harsh. It was a little bit stinging at the end. Uh, the overproof felt a little fiery. Even with the cube in it, it didn't bring it down to a good place for me. And I think it's probably because I hate things in a cherry cask. Thinking back to other offerings in cherry cask, I've never liked them. And that might have been the failing for me today. That's a, that's a fair point. Yeah, uh, even 40 creeps, the one they finished in the cherry cask. See, I love Balvany. Yeah. The 12 year old double wood with the cherry cask and the whiskey oak. But that's a scoffer. So any yeah. whiskey I've had this cherry cask, mm-hmm. I don't tend to like. Taking back there, all the other ones I've tried. Yeah. I absolutely love the EP Carrillo Escuro. Um, EP Carrillo makes fantastic cigars. Is the construction, the draw, the burn was absolutely fantastic. Uh, no surprise of out of Tobacco or Alianza. Um, paired with the Glendale Irish Whiskey, it probably is my favorite Irish Whiskey. I did like it. I did like the free notes. I thought the um, the free notes and the Irish Whiskey paired well with the dried fruit notes coming out of the E.P. Carrillo Cigar. Um, I strongly recommend this pairing. I absolutely enjoyed the two. I found it very smooth, very sweet on the finish. And that'll be all for today. Smoke good cigars, drink good booze, eat good food. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.